Hi Aries, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your general monthly tarot reading for the month of uh, May 2021. And I do want to take this moment as always to remind you to like this video, leave me a comment, and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, when meditating on your energy overall for the month, the message that came through was as wise as can be, as wise as can be. And um, so we're going to begin by pulling a message or two from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And do keep in mind, uh, as always, it's a general monthly reading for the sign of Aries. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else. And as always, check out your other chart placements for more messages. All right. Oh, that was a mouthful to begin for Aries for May 2021. Thank you, Spirit, for Aries. We got one. What else do we have for Aries? What do they need to know for May? Okay. All right, we're going with the two. All right, so let's see here. So we're starting with Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. So it's a month where you're being pushed, you're being guided, advised to collaborate with others, to share your wisdom, your knowledge that you've gained over time with those that surround you in order to assist them, in order to inspire them, in order to enhance whatever situation you're wrapped up in at that time. And we're moving on to Bat Spirit of Rebirth is Assured. And so it's a month where you're reminded that you are continuing a rebirth or uh, it's coming soon enough. A reminder that you, uh, the struggles you've been going through uh, don't define who you're meant to be in this lifetime, uh, where you're meant to head, excuse me. It's also throughout the month of May where you will receive uh, a couple of reminders of why you went through what you went through, why certain difficulties were part of your situation up until this point. Um, some clarity on why things have happened and what lies ahead. All right, so we're going to continue by pulling six tarot cards, a simple six card spread for the month. So what do we have for our lovely Aries to continue this monthly read? Thank you, Spirit. Taking both of these. So we have two. What else do we need to know? Or what else do we have for Aries? All righty. And we have two remaining, which we're going to pull right from the top of the deck. So we're beginning the... Sorry, as I space out for a hot second. So we're beginning the month in the spread with the Nine of Wands. So the month begins and you're feeling a bit wounded, feeling like you've been through a lot, feeling as if everything you've been through is it was purposeful. You understand that you grasp that at this point in, in your journey, but it's hard for you to push forward at times. In the beginning of the month, just it's very apparent to you um, how much rest you need or simply how difficult times have been. Allowing for yourself to instill a new sense of balance within your situation um, in order to rediscover the inner peace, in order to feel a little bit less wounded to begin the month. And it's side by side with this ant spirit. Let me just hold it properly. And so it's the beginning of the month as well where you are pushed and guided to, even though you're feeling a bit wounded, to collaborate with others, to share your wisdom, your knowledge, to uh, inspire, to help those around you. And we're moving on to the middle of the first half of the month where we have the moon. And so it's the middle of the first half of the month where you find yourself feeling a bit emotional. These emotions are resurfacing or coming to be in general in order to teach you something, to help you learn something new about yourself, about what you've been going through, about uh, who you're meant to be in this lifetime. It's going to, these emotions will as well teach you uh, how to better cope with such emotions when they resurface or come to be moving forward. Uh, knowing intuitively or being reminded by spirit and universe what lies ahead, which is a lot of success. And in order to make the best out of that success, 
uh, what lies ahead. Uh, I need to adjust, uh, tweak a few habits. And we're moving on to the Ace of Swords. And so you make your way to wrap up the first half of the month and you're reminded of uh, a fresh start that's on the horizon. A reminder that all you've been through has made you wiser, stronger, and healthier uh, version of you. Allowing for yourself to view certain difficulties and obstacles up until this point as uh, purposeful. And it's also the uh, making your way towards the end of the first half of the month where you are reminded that you can put a sword in certain difficulties. You're reminded that you can achieve a fresh start soon enough that it's on the horizon, so don't fret. So we make our way to begin the second half of the month and we have the 10 of wands. And so it's the beginning of the second half of the month where you are starting to focus uh, or you find yourself focusing on all that you have to accomplish or all that's on your plate. Feeling like there's a lot of burdens that surround you as well. Feeling like there are certain energies that you are you have to deal with, whether it's at work, at home, uh, just in your situation in general. Feeling as if that some of these energies don't make things easier for you. Uh, feeling like you need to at times separate yourself from a situation or certain individuals to protect your inner peace. Being aligned with this Nine of Wands. It's the beginning of the second half of the month where you start to notice um, or are reminded of certain people or situations, things that surround you or even habits that add to this wounded feeling at times or that simply make you feel uh, like things are harder to achieve than they need to be. Being side by side, <clears throat> excuse me, side by side with this bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. You're also reminded that uh, as you sort of shed some of these difficulties, some of these frustrations uh, that you've developed along the way, you're making your way through a rebirth or heading towards one. So I need to view your these struggles, these hardships, um, allowing that perspective to be productive. And we're moving on to the Knight of Cups for the middle of the second half of the month. And so the middle of the second half of the month marks uh, a time when you're feeling uh, the need to move forward, feeling the need to take action. It's this part of the month as well where you feel as if uh, certain emotions are tied to certain goals. Uh, certain achievements that you look to uh, fulfill moving forward, uh, you without meaning to, you've attached a sense of emotion to them where you are emotionally invested in succeeding in whatever way this is for you. Being aligned with the moon card once again, it's this part of the month where you don't necessarily get emotional, but it's the emotions that resurface along the month up until this point, um, it becomes very clear to you that the reasoning is, um, or part of the reasoning is, uh, because you're emotionally invested in where you're heading and what you're looking to achieve at this time. And we're moving on to the last and final card of the spread in month where we have the Page of Wands. And so you make your way to finish up the month and you're feeling a bit anxious. I'm currently picking up on your anxiety as we speak, or as I speak. And it's aligned with this Ace of Swords. And Spirit's gonna remind you, the universe will remind you as well as you make your way to finish up this month that uh, if things feel a bit shaky, if things feel a bit uneasy, uh, it's part of the transition. You kind of feeling in between worlds or feeling as if you're making your way through uh, or heading towards this rebirth. A reminder that there is a lot less anxiety, a lot less stress within the next chapter that you're heading towards. I need to remember that everything you've been through once again uh, happened for a reason. Everything was purposeful. And we're going to finish off this beautiful monthly reading by pulling a message or two from the Small Star Seeds deck. For our lovely Aries, thank you, Spirit, to wrap up this reading. For May, of course. Here we go. We got one. Reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. Allow for May to be a month where you reflect on yourself, 
on everything you've been through up until this point and to allow for such reflections to teach you certain lessons um, about all that is meant to happen in your lifetime, all that lies ahead, all right? So Aries, I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing month, and I'll see you next time. Bye.